Hey everyone, and welcome to another hemp tip. Today we'll be talking all about nitrogen as a fertilizer for hemp, what it does, and what a deficiency and toxicity looks like. Nitrogen is the most common element on Earth and is vital for all living things. For plant growth in particular, it's needed for the production of chlorophyll, the plant pigment essential for photosynthesis. Chlorophyll is also responsible for the green color in leaves, which is why when the plant has a healthy amount of nitrogen in it, it'll be a nice green color. And since photosynthesis is what produces new growth. Nitrogen is the most important component when it comes to stem and leaf growth. This is why nitrogen is designated as one of the three primary macronutrients, sharing its place with phosphorus and potassium, and the reason why nitrogen is the highest nutrient provided to a plant throughout its entire vegetative stage since this is where the plant is focused solely on stem and leaf growth. Because nitrogen is a mobile nutrient, the plant can draw on it from older leaves if there's a scarcity of it from the roots. And this makes the nitrogen deficiency easy to spot because once it's depleted from the grow medium, you'll see the plant start taking it from the leaves at the bottom of the plant, which will cause it to start yellowing otherwise known as chlorosis. If left untreated, this will start spreading from the bottom up, affecting more and more of the lower leaves, and when the leaves have been completely depleted of its nutrients, it'll change from just turning yellow to drying up and dying, otherwise known as necrosis. The way to combat this is to just provide more nitrogen to the plant. And this can be done as a foliar spray to quickly stop the deficiency from spreading and also by feeding the roots, which is a more long-term solution to a deficiency. Now because nitrogen produces chlorophyll, which are green in color, a surplus of nitrogen can be seen when the leaves turn dark green, which is the first sign that a nitrogen toxicity is in the plant. If left untreated in high concentrations, the tip of the leaves will also start to show chlorosis, necrosis, and can also start to claw downwards at a 90 degree angle even though the rest of the leaf might look healthy and be facing upwards. On top of that, the plant will also slow down growth and be more susceptible to pests, so it's important to fix the issue as soon as possible. And because a nitrogen toxicity typically means that the grow medium is saturated with too much nitrogen, you'll need to get rid of the stored up nutrients in it first. Whether you're working with an organic soil mix that has too much nutrients in it, known as being too hot, or the grow medium is just saturated with too high of a liquid fertilizer concentration, you can remove a lot of the nutrient buildup by flushing the grow medium with water and then letting it all wash away through the runoff. This will usually balance out a hot soil and completely remove all the liquid nutrients built up in it as well. From here, just let the grow medium dry out first before reapplying fertilizer if needed. And of course, if you are reapplying a fertilizer, you'll want to ease it back a bit to make sure the toxicity doesn't happen again. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.